Hey everybody, I'm in downtown Elora, where they're having some kind of a strange festival of all kinds of weird paper mache looking objects. And I'm going to check out my Mikey lens while I use my GH5S on a Zuin Weevil S. It's a lot to take in there. Hang around. Anybody has any questions or comments or want to talk about anything, please leave that down below. Give a big old like and subscribe to help out. And uh, thanks a lot. So here I am in the Laura. I'm using my 12 millimeter Mikey. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's a M-E-I-K-E -E lens. It's a wide angle. And I'm holding this monstrosity on my Zoo and Weeble S while well, it's attached to my GH5S. I think the results speak for themselves. There's a little bit of distortion on the upper and lower part of the image. I think I have some video where I can show that a little more clearly. And you can see that the, uh, the lines and the ceiling and the floors don't quite match up. But let's see how it takes in these uh, objects, sculptures. I guess they're, well, they're objects and sculptures. People's wonderful works of art. You ever been to Alora, Ontario, or Salem? That's where I am today with my kid. I'm not sure if I've noticed any color distortions, uh, chromatic distortions or anything like that with this lens. It seems to be fairly accurate. I've noticed a lot of the reviews say that people are really happy with the images they get. I've noticed a couple reviews where people thought there might be a little too much distortion. One guy said there was more distortion than he's ever seen. I'm not sure about that though. I guess you guys can decide. Right now I just have it in infinity. The focus. So everything's in focus. I have an aperture of eight because it's very bright out. The, the overcast sky is definitely bright. I didn't bring my uh, ND filters with me today. Oh no, some kid lost their toy. See that? Just focus the camera down on the lost toy. I don't think that's a sculptor. Anyone seen a sculptor like that before? There's like a billion people around. I should probably put my mask on. I'm trying to stay away from everybody though. So I don't want to appear all masked in front of a dang lens. Mm. Safety, safety first. So here's me in front of a giant mushroom. There's a dragon. Ooh. The zoo and weevil's having a hard time. Stay on me, baby. So this is a really, I feel like this is wider than my 12 millimeter Lumix lens. It takes in a lot, like it's, I don't have to hold the Zoo and Weeble out very far. I can hold it with two hands and I still get a nice shot. Like I feel like it's a little wider and I could hold this out further, like quite a bit further. And I could compare this with my 12 millimeter lens, my Lumix lens that I destroyed. That was fun. We can check that out in a little, little bit. I'll uh, dump that out on the ground and jump on it or something. That'll be fun. I'm just trying to take in the beautiful Elora scenery as I walk around and tell you guys about my Mikey 12 millimeter lens. It's actually a cinema lens. Have I mentioned that? Cinema lens, clickless aperture. And it, uh, 
It's a big freaking heavy thing made of metal. It's a monstrosity. I just came into the shadows because I wanted to see how that looked. I'm in the middle of some trees. I'm trying to get my face more into the light here. Look at that, that's beautiful, eh? There's my kid behind us. Oh, I can see him. He's got a nice TV head on. Good DNA, good DNA, I mean, good TVA, I mean. He's got good TV genes. So I bought this thing used on Amazon, actually, this uh, Mike, Mikey Cinema Lens, however you pronounce that. Maybe somebody could help correct me. M-E-I-K-E. -E. I like it so far. I love the, uh, I love how wide it is. Very low, minimal distortion, I think, on the edges or anything. And um, I'm not sure if there's any wobble or anything like that as I'm walking around. I feel like it's nice and uh, hard for me to tell why I'm walking. Sorry, I didn't know. It's hard for me to tell what you're doing. I just got in crap for going in somebody's picture. But I didn't know. I'm like wandering around like an idiot on YouTube. I don't know what people want from me, man. So I think I'll uh, try something else. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do a quick little unboxing of my Mikey T2.2 cinema lens. It comes with a nice little bag. I'm trying to do this with one hand while I hold my cell phone. Ugh. That's trickier than I thought. Let's get that box out of the way here. It comes with this really nice little bag. It's got dirt on it. It's got dirt all over my nice little bag that it comes with. I actually opened it before I did this. Wanted to make sure everything was in there. It was actually just inside this little plastic thing and the bag was sitting in the box. So I'll just try to slip this off. I got this on Amazon on a warehouse deal for $400 because my Lumix 12 millimeter broke. Has a nice little mirror cloth it comes with. It's a nice little bag. It feels really nice. It feels like a quality bag. It feels really nice. And then we also have inside of it some sort of owner's manual. Warranty agreement under conditions below. The warranty does not apply. Exploit. Exploit adventure, it says. Hard to read that. I don't know if that's out of focus. And then we have a little Mikey booklet. Our media. I don't know what this is. Lens tips. Why your camera. Why your camera tell you lens not attached when you put the lens on. So, you know, it's not an English first language thing, but I guess you get the idea. It's a manual lens. There is no electric contact between camera and lens. How to use Mikey manual focus lens? Enable M mode or release without lens in the settings and focus manually. How to know if your camera works with Mikey lens? While the lens mount, just need to make sure if lens mount is the same as the camera mount. In this case, we have a micro four thirds, so we're good to go. That's not too helpful of a little pamphlet, but... So it's a nice little box. As far as boxes go, it's a box. Oh, we got a little visitor here. Cat loves the lens too. I mean, here, kitty. You wanna check out the lens? Wanna rub your face against it? So I guess, uh, I don't know what else there is really to it. It's a lens in a box, you know? It comes with a bag, like this, you know? It doesn't come with a cat, the cat's extra. 
nice and heavy. If it's made out of metal, aluminum, it's not made out of plastic. It's made out of glass and uh, Tic Tacs, I think. I think they glued together about a thousand Tic Tacs. Can you like cinnamon lenses? You like that? So I guess I'll just wrap that up for here. I'll include this in the other part of the uh, downtown vloggy thing I was doing in the Laura. All right, made it through another one of my videos. If you enjoyed it, just press the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and everything will do great. Just remember, I love you.